Radio Rangers Life TV. We are joined by Councillor Tony Stevenson, the Councillor for Channel Award, of course, in the uh, Yarra Rangers Council. Uh, Tony, thanks for your time today on Yarra Rangers Life TV. Yeah, well, look, thanks for inviting me and thanks for choosing such a great setting by the Sassafras Creek here. Yeah, it's a, I, I do believe we live in one of the best parts of the world and this just demonstrates how, how lucky we are. Um, uh, Tony, look, I've got to ask, how long have you lived in the area for? Oh, not nearly enough time, really. Uh, we moved here 12 years ago from Sydney as a family. Travelling here a lot for business and it just became very, very not, not family friendly. And uh, so it was a big challenge to make the move, made the move, and then went, why don't we do this sooner? Fantastic. And uh, of course, you're, a, you're the councillor for Chandler Ward. Um, how long have you been involved with uh, politics? Oh, only, politics? only since uh, the election of 2016, so that's probably five months now, really. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, out of all the things that you could do in life, I, I love asking my guests this one. I mean, why? Why choose local politics? Oh, I think I think a sort of person wants to feel they're useful, making a contribution. Mm -hmm. um, and I looked around at the things I could do after winding back a lot of my business commitments, and I thought, well, what can I do now? Children have moved on from primary school. I couldn't be involved with school council anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so this seemed to be a great opportunity to put something back in the community, uh, contribute some of my experience from a... Um, information technology mm -hmm. perspective uh, and also business perspective. Fantastic. So it sounds like you bring a wealth of skills from the, the range of different areas there you know, to the council team. Yeah, yeah, certainly uh, experience in business, big and small, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, have to, I have to speak up for businesses. They're not evil. They are the people who create jobs in this country, yes. and we certainly more, want more jobs in the Yarra Rangers. So uh, true, true. encouraging uh, council to be more business friendly, supporting efficiency in council are things that certainly you're driving for. Yeah, fantastic. So. Uh, is that, um, I mean, out of all the things that you want to achieve, I mean, that's part of the, the main goal, or you've got other things yeah, on your agenda? Yeah, I think that's, that's certainly part of it. Um, as I said, creating jobs is important. We want to be able to have people who can grow up in our communities and, and live in our communities and work in our communities instead of having to go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. um, so small businesses create more than half of the jobs in this country, and encouraging local businesses would be tourism, mm -hmm. agribusiness, uh, there's a whole lot of service businesses. So really, from a council point of view, it's about having the right sort of attitude, so welcoming them, make it easy to do business uh, and ensuring that, you know, if someone wants to do something, say it's a farm and they want to build a shed, mm -hmm. well let's find out how we can make it as frictionless as possible, uh, just so they can get on with things, because if you start putting barriers in the way, people people too, all too easily give up. Yeah, I mean, the other things I, I would say from my, my background in, in uh, you know, computing and, and in business, I'd really like to, to get a focus in Council more on efficiency and innovation. Mm. So I think there's been some good steps already, but I think there's more to be done. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we have a, a quite a challenging situation, such a large area of service in, in Yarra Ranges, and uh, a lot of ageing assets. Um, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of buildings were built 50 plus years ago. Mm -hmm. So we've really got to work hard to figure out how can we run council more efficiently, so that we can actually service such a large area yeah, very true. Uh, so well. And, and probably the other thing is that you know, as I've met many people in the community, I, I'm really impressed. At the efforts that people do. So we have so many volunteers, mm. you know, the CFA, the SES, just from a, an emergency service point of view. And then you look at the sporting clubs, all sorts of sports. You've got people who are very focused on arts and culture, contributing uh, very much to the uh, to the area. You've got land care. I mean, I'm sure there'll be someone I forget, but we have these great people in the community putting something back. Mm. And when I meet people in council, I go, well, there's some really talented people in council, are really passionate as well. So if we can actually get them working even better together, it's got to be a great outcome for the Yarra Rangers. Fantastic. And look, um, you touched a little bit on some of the challenges there. What, what do you think is the, the biggest cha challenge um, facing the Shire of Yarra Rangers or Yarra Rangers Camp? I, I think it's something I've only just really learned about. I've, I've lived in the area for a long time, but I probably didn't appreciate just how big an mm. area Yarra Rangers is. Um, so three times the size of Singapore. Yeah, wow. Um, so, you know, it's huge. And so council has to provide services across that entire area. So if you compare this council to an urban council, quite a different challenge. Mm. Um, so if you think of something like groundsman looking after, or groundswoman mm -hmm. looking after a uh, sporting field, they might be doing one here, and then they could drive for an hour to, mm. to, to mow one further down the road. Mm -hmm. And you just don't have those in the urban areas. So there's some inherent inefficiencies that, that just can't be dealt with because of the size. It comes with that, that challenge. And, and I guess size. the other thing is that uh, this council was formed about 20 years ago through the amalgamation of uh, four councils. Mm. And through that process and through other processes, um, we've inherited a lot of ageing assets, so there'll be older buildings, they might be, um, uh, I guess it's principally buildings, but drains, roads, mm -hmm. and they all need constant upkeep. Uh, so the challenge is to say over such a large area and with so many, so many assets that need to be maintained, how do we make that work, mm -hmm. both for the present time, but also think about how we 
plan for the future. So mm. we just don't do things now and not think through how it's going to be over the longer term. Yeah, so it's not so just the challenge, reactive, it's actually proactive as yeah, well. So yeah, so the challenge is how do we make the Resources Council have stretch across all of those things? Yeah. Um, and I think ultimately we're going to have to make some tough, tough choices course. at some point. Mm, no worries, Linda. Look, uh, in closing, this is the, the warm, fuzzy question, the one I love to, la I love to ask everyone. Um, Tony, uh, what do you love about the Arrangers? Oh, look, where do you start? I mean, we've got everything here. Uh, you don't need to go anywhere. We've got all the, all the benefits of the countryside, that, that friendly approach, the great fresh air, the great environment we live in. But you get the services that, that come with being close to urban areas, as, you know, city like aspect of services. Mm -hmm. And so you've, you've, got, you've got the hills, you've got the valley, you've got the river, uh, you've got all those things. And then you've got people. I mean, we've just got such a friendly bunch of people who really want to make the most of what they've got mm -hmm. and, and really look after it. That's, that's what I see here. There's a lot of civic pride and people love where they live. And, and I think what's exciting is to be part of working with people to continue ensuring that Yarra, that Yarra Rangers remains a great place to, uh, uh, to live, work and play. Yeah, fantastic. Look, uh, Tony, really appreciate your time and your comments and sharing your thoughts with us here today. Of course, on Yarra Rangers Live TV and wish you all the best for the future. Yeah, thank you. All the best for Yarra Rangers TV. Good on you. Cheers. Thank you. Bye now.